What's up, guys? Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Don't Be Sour. I'm your host, Max Tuning. Very special episode. I say that often. This time, I actually mean it. Heidi and Christian. The Goo- the future Guzmans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heidi hasn't been on the show. Signs in a- off. Yeah, well, it's because <gasps> pe- people say it's too bright. Mm. So, like, right now, I just illuminated it <laughs> fakely because I need to... I need to put a like a transformer to make it. It's mm. too bright. I saw mm. you say that in Charlie and Joe's house. I might as well remind them. I know. Dude, I can't. The, the podcast I get yelled at like all the time. <laughs> Christian really wants to talk about politics, but I apparently I talk about politics and finance too much. So I, now I <laughs> no finance, no politics in this podcast. I do love if uh, I. I was like, how about new? All I do is talk politics. How do you like? <laughs> yeah, at home. That's all he talks about. And I'm like, can I just go to bed? Do can you we, actually? Yeah. Yes. Like what? Like just like what's the last topic you talked about? We don't. We're not gonna talk about it. But just what? What was it? Well, before I started watching the Cat Williams and um, Joe Rogan podcast, that just like threw me for a whole like different thing. But this morning I was. What was I showing you this morning? First thing in the morning, I it was politics. I was like, I'm I haven't even had a coffee. <laughs> I like to like get updated in the morning. Yeah. yeah like what was the last? What was the last news story <laughs> you, had, you read? I, I digest so much. I, I, Christian's like I I I read I listen to so much politics that I can't even tell you the right now I'm actually actually I'll say one political thing okay I'm actually super like taken back almost because today like Biden and Trump like collectively are like coming together for like the first time ever and like fight no to like work (laughs) together like to sign this pass this bill for immigration it's like wild because they're actually like putting the election like literally like quote unquote putting it aside and like because this needs to get fixed because they went down to go see the problem here in Texas. So are you are you pro that or against what they're doing? Uh very pro. I don't know what that means, but now you guys know his Same. political stance. <laughs> well, it's just like yeah, let's not go. I feel like you're not very political, right? Uh, I'm kind of like as long as no it's one's just getting like hurt. It's just like the problems are wild right now, bro. <laughs> like it's things are getting really crazy. He'll tell and me certain gonna, things and I'm like I Yeah. But like, well, now thing. I'm sad. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's it's like depressing. Yeah. Hear it about just pretty much every single day, just shit going down. I just but, like to be aware. I don't, get, I don't get emotionally affected by it. Like it won't make me have a good day or bad day or anything like that. Which it used to for my dad. Yeah, like because he mm. it, he would either that would dictate his whole day. Oh, if, if like we, something bad was happening. Oh, in like bro, the world? If, if the news, if like if, if the Democrats were pissing him off for the day, like oh my gosh, it, it would just be a whole day. And, and so I learned a lot to like, but I, I have realized that's why I always stayed away from it for so many years. But the, since like buying out for the last like three, four years, I really like staying in just in tune and updated because I notice I don't get like, you know, all crazy and stuff. Right, babe? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Politics. <laughs> you, you know, this uh, this episode's going to be wild because I think we collectively might have uh, this room might have the people that have put the most butt cheeks in leggings in one area. You think so? <laughs> this is a lot. A lot of butt cheeks have gone into <laughs> leggings from you two. Yeah. Period. Yeah. This is true, babe. We've it's actually never true. done a podcast together, ever. First one. Really? We've our first time. Our first time. Good okay. All right, well, here, we'll start with a bang. Who makes better leggings? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, like, Heidi's current leggings are way... She's got so much more uh, I feel like we, variety. we both make really good leggings. We w- don't. Wouldn't you say leggings would be created better from for females by a female rather than by a male? Uh, or are you an outsider uh, and just... I think it can it can get incredibly done by either. Somebody. Yeah, true. Because I feel like women, you know, they know their their bodies so well, women's bodies. But then also, if you're trying to, let's say the scrunch legging, for example. Describe <laughs> what the scrunch legging is. The scrunch legging is where there's the a scrunch. Legging, Actually, yeah. do you want to describe it? What is the amplified the legging? Am- the, tr- the scrunch, the subtle scrunch, I call it. it where uh, is the scrunch? It's on the, between the back rise and the gusset, right? That's where you put it. On we, the butt crack. Back in my day, they called that the ass crack. Yeah. yeah it's the ass <laughs> crack. And what's the goal of it? The goal is to essentially pull the fabric into like a slight lift, like a, a tuck into the area where the cheeks are. So essentially, like with the, it works really well with uh, seamless material, like with our really stretchy, really soft yarn, because that kind of sticks to the skin better than like a typical legging fabric. Yeah. So seamless is like way, they get very complicated to make because the tubes and the machines are like very fucking like, any small adjustment makes the whole fit way off and the sizing and grading is really hard to like nail but um 
Yeah, with the seamless material, it just really sticks to the skin. The scrunch, you know, up the butt crack a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice little lift, but it doesn't look like the crazy ruching on the back butt that you would see like in the early, you know, 2012, 2013. There's a lot of like, you know, you, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the ruching on the yeah. butt. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. It's like Ru these like ruching? ruching is like it's like a, it looks like it's like a really ugly scrunch of Ugh. fabric on the back butt. Yeah. And that's like so dramatically ugly. It's like ugh. I would never let my it ass can actually in there, yeah. like if 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 you don't do it right, like the amplify, it's clean, right? But if it has a lot of ruching, it can actually look like a butthole. Yeah, literally. I've never heard the word ruching in my. You can tell why I got. <laughs> I, I sh I'm I'm glad that I got out of clothing because I apparently didn't even know the terminology. I've never heard of ruching. Yeah, you can put ruching on sports bras. You can put them on jackets. Yeah, leggings. you can milk anything with nibbles. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Heidi, actually, I don't know if we can classify you as an entrepreneur because I texted Christian the other day uh, about about doing the podcast, and it was 8 o'clock in the morning, and Christian goes, oh, I'll ask Heidi when she gets up. And I, I said, wait a what do you mean? First when? of all, it was not 8 o'clock in the morning. It, it was, was like 8 and something, right? It was even earlier, which means you should be up at 4 a.m. I'm not a 4 a.m. I have never been a 4 a.m. person, and I have always said on my YouTube, I'm like, no. <laughs> what time do you wake up every day? I would say like seven to eight, depending on. Not that day. Not that day. No, <laughs> no, on, no. That day, I woke up seven around to eight, eight for the last two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it depends because sometimes I'm up shooting till like four a.m. Like those ground shoots, we were shooting until four o'clock in the morning. I, I, as someone who is uh, engaged to someone who goes to your like super late shoots, I can confirm that you yes. actually do, mm -hmm. and you go to pretty much all of them now, right? Uh, she goes to like all of hers. Yeah. No, not all of them. Like I missed the one of you and Taylor. I was so sad. I was like, oh, dude, oh, I wanted one? to be there. Uh, but I don't get to go to all of them anymore. I would say like 50%, you know? 50%. I would say 75%. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm uh, trying to take a little baby step listen, back. Listen, we're, we're going to get to the business stuff later. We, we got There's something more important than business, and that is we got a big, we got a big day coming up. This is kind of like the send-off because as soon as we finish here, we got a pack, bro. Yeah, we got a pack. You leave Get tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow morning for three weeks. <clears throat> how how are y'all feeling? You were you were literally a week and two days out from nine days. Yeah, nine days out yeah. from the wedding. The big day. How are you feeling? <laughs> are well, you nervous? Is well, everything ready? You talk. Babe. I mean, I think everything everything is good to go. Uh, since we started planning for it, I was like. God forbid I don't have flowers to hold down the aisle. There's no cake. There's no nothing. There's no cake? I mean, there's a cake. We oh. have things planned. We're but so low-key, bro. Like, yeah, it's if something we're, we're goes not wrong. Low-key low is the wrong word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> low-key is the wrong <laughs> word. <laughs> we are, uh, we're, very, we're very carefree with yeah. it. Like, we're really relaxed. We, have, we like, had so much shit going on with our work for the last like few months, and it's almost like we're, the, the wedding has like, been handled so well, I feel yeah. like. And she, you've been fucking killing it with Hanny. But Hanny's he, done a lot of it, yeah. but there's still quite a few meetings and approvals that you have to make. Are you spearheading the wedding, like in terms of like timelines? Like, are you essentially like the one that's handling it all? And Christian's just like Actually, a yes or no. I'm an accessory. Uh, I think Christian's mentioned one thing: <laughs> the cake flavor. Right? Was that about it? I didn't. Don't think I even mentioned that. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm spearheading do, everything. How do you deal <laughs> with, like, let's say you're like. Hey babe, do you want a let's say chocolate or vanilla cake? And like, does Christian ever just say like, oh, like it, it doesn't matter? Like it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll either one. Does that like fluster I you? I don't really ever say. No, because then I'm like matter. perfect. I'm type I'll, A and I'll just I'm, pick I, it. I, I, well, oh. But I usually say like chocolate, or I'll usually say something, and then but you're like, ah, that'll be it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, yeah, it doesn't it's, really it's matter. Like, I want you to be more involved, and you get more involved. I'm like, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I tried for the longest time. I keep like going back and forth with this in my head. Like sometimes. I, I've tried saying instead of I don't care, I say like uh, I say like I'm indifferent. I, oh, I was, oh, that's no. a good one. Uh, what, what were you say? I don't know. I try to not say I don't care. Well, it's it's because like I don't care. I'm like I I have no preference on what it is. But then sometimes that that I think Taylor still wants me to like make the decision. So then I tried. Yeah, for a that's why you always give an answer first. Mm -hmm. I, Even if you don't care, you should give an answer and then. But I don't want to lie. Either. Like if someone's like. Chocolate or vanilla, but like I don't care if it's chocolate or vanilla. Yeah, but, but you need to be decisive. You know, it's, okay. it's appreciated when you're decisive. That's what I. That's, that's what, what girls go. Like, which one? Yeah. Moving forward, I just say I'm fifty fifty. That's my go-to. You all, Heidi always says that. Yeah, like, I said it twice to today. Everything. They were like, "What do you want? This or this?" I was like, "I'm fifty 50 Every single thing, she's fifty fifty. <laughs> so I have to decide everything. That's just if I. Not that I don't care, but I'm like, uh, who makes the most? Like, not in like a 
dictator way, but like who makes the most like final say on like a decision between y'all? Like if, you, if you're in between something, who's like, all right, we're doing this one? It kind of depends, right? I would say. In general, how do you like, I feel like as a leader of the household or whatever, I, I consider me, yeah. right? but it's like, but also at the same time. It's such a she, man thing to but say. But she totally, like the whole wet, it's like she can totally handle everything just as well, if not better, on her own without asking me. So it's like, like I appreciate, you know, I like, I'll, of course I'll answer, I'll, you know, I'll decide and, you know, in, any input that's wanted. Yeah. I'll just give my, my input, but I'll never like care about anything else past that after I just give my thoughts. At, with, the, with the whole wedding planning, and I know you guys have like a planner, which is, extremely helpful we've learned that as well but uh, a lot of people will like say that uh, the wedding planning is like a really stressful time because it can cause like maybe like arguments of like frustration between have y'all experienced any of that or is it any <laughs> not really I mean we've talked we're like okay um like okay here's like the budget or Hey, should we? There's like, should I get rid of this? Yeah, or there this? was a budget, or, and, then, and then it's like, yeah, there was the budget. <laughs> but we'll talk about it, right? We're like, okay, what do we want to like splurge on? What do we not want to splurge on? And they said, babe, but this is my dream. I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't. And do it, we'll do it. I love it. So oh, no, no, instead it. of saying a dream, I'll be like, but this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> it's only going to happen once. And I'm like, and it's weird it. because if it's our it, money it. now, right? Yeah, so if you want it, we'll do it. I feel like in the past, it was always like, okay, here's my money, here's your money separate. Now, I feel like it's still weird for me. It's like, oh, this is like, our yeah, money. this is, it has been very I can't weird, bro. Just make, both you're like, we just got, we, we just, just got made both, so much more money. I, I, yeah, now it's our money. I sold both my cars. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She, no, now she, we're just, we ran into Heidi at the mall, and then she's like, my car. she asked if she could get a ride home because she <laughs> Ubered there. <laughs> I was like, Heidi, you know, instead of buying this stuff, you could buy a car. She's like, I have a car. Christian has it. <laughs> <laughs> was she like, she she wouldn't want to drive to the gallery anyway. I know. She's lying. I would, she I'm wouldn't. She would not know where to park. She wouldn't do it. She'd rather work. No, I would valet, but like, I just I work on my way. Yeah, and it's like yeah. 20 bucks. Y'all like yeah. Ubering places love rather it. love it. Rather than driving. Even if it's like to a restaurant. No, no if it's downtown. I, I, I drive. I, like if we're driving anywhere, I drive. But yeah. if we're Ubering, if we're gonna drink somewhere, then we Uber. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. And then love it every time. How uh what percentage, not like a dollar, but like what percentage over your wedding original budget are you? <laughs> <laughs> Like what percentage is a lot? Um, <laughs> what to say? Are you a little, a lot, or a whole lot? Or like, yeah. In the middle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that stressful? Yeah. Or are you like, eh? Uh, I think for us, and, and again, it's it's weird to go from okay, this is my money, this is your money, this is our money. So, I was like, okay, executive decision. I'm just gonna go ahead and pay for this. And then I was like, wait, I can't just like buy things. I need to talk to my husband. So yeah, like, we should be happy about that. We get approved. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, "Yeah." And then I was like, "Okay, this is the amount." And he's like, "No." And I was like, "Okay." So yeah, well, when I heard the number, I was like, "Babe, what the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> but, but it wasn't like a what. It's like, but if she wanted that to happen, then it would happen. But it's like, yeah. are, you, are you sure? <laughs> like, okay, if you really, really, really do want, how does? But I did get rid of some things. Yeah, you did. I did sip with candy, and I was like, get rid of this, get rid of this, and yeah, then get like, rid of other we, things. We, okay, we did me. one walkthrough where I like, I was like, she was listening shit, and I was like, no. Don't don't we just we don't need don't need because it was like just absurd. Yeah, I was like, and I was like this shit's absurd. Serve ice cream stand. Of course a, we need that. After that, after <laughs> a that, a taco after, stand. Yes. After that conversation, fireworks. <laughs> after App that. Apparently, the fireworks are actually There's something. Fireworks. No, no, no. I said no. I think the fireworks are supposed to be something done by the other person in secrecy as a surprise. Okay, well, Hanny did not surprise <laughs> us. So if anyone gets fireworks, I'm, you know there's no fireworks. I'm going to no be fireworks. surprised at everything. Yeah, he doesn't really know anything that's going to be happening. I know like 98%. Yeah? How many dresses do you have? Um, so I had one. I was like, I love my dress. I'm just going to wear the one dress. All the things, right? That's very not, guys listening, that's very not normal. Because normally girls have like a few. See, that's yeah. crazy because as a man, I just... I'm like, why would you have multiple dresses? I, well, I just learned that because of Taylor. <laughs> oh, yeah, Taylor has, like, yeah. 15. <laughs> no, she has a few. Yeah, but, it's like four. But I would say, yeah, on average, that what I've heard from girls, like, oh, I have three dresses. Like, they have their ceremony, their reception, and their going away dress. And sometimes they have more, sometimes they have less. I loved my dress so much, I was like, I just want one. I just want one. And Hanny and Taylor both told me multiple times, like, you're going to want a second one. You're going to want a second one. I was like, nope, and I'm just stubborn. And then 
a week ago. A week ago. A week ago. I was like, ah, I think we get a second dress. <laughs> okay. But I got one. It's uh, going to get shipped to the Caymans. I just fitted my suit like three hours ago. Oh, yeah. shit. We yeah. really what? did things the last minute. <laughs> oh, I have a question. Um, so for on my outfit, I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm going to wear. Um, it is a super sick kind of tan linen um, J. Ooh. Crew suit, mm -hmm. like a white undershirt. I was planning, and if you guys allow it, I, I'd love to continue down this path, but I will also respect <laughs> your, your dress code. I was thinking, since it's a beach one, no tie underneath this suit jacket. Do you want, should I, do the guests wear ties? Because I'll wear a tie. It is tie, isn't it? Because I don't have any ties. No, no, so it's called black tie, which means like formal wear, but honestly, no, you don't need to wear a tie. So my, see, I don't want to be the, the one guy that isn't. But you're my, you're like know, my best friends, so it's kind of like, whatever you do kind of sets the tone. Now I'm stressed, I think I should go get a tie. <laughs> Because you weren't just Taylor. like, oh, absolutely, no, no ties at all. I'm wearing like, I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna what does tie. Taylor think? I, I think she didn't know because she's like, it's a beach wedding. But yeah, I don't babe, know. maybe we should send some more clarity. Well, you need everyone's to, already got you there. Need to start, it's in a week. Do you need me to step in on well, this uh, on this on this wedding planning? You be sure we send out uh, more information, babe. We have a website. <laughs> have well, you, for example, uh, ours. babe, have you even looked at the website? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> for for our wedding, Taylor is very much like it's. It's like they, she, she's going to like Ralph Lauren. She's like black and white. She's like everyone is wearing For black. Taylor's wedding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. For, it's, well, it's, it's, her, it's her big day. It's our big day. But she's like everyone is wearing black formal. Like you need to wear black. You need to be. It needs to be very formal. I know Moise is wearing like a black suit, black shirt, black. Like he's going all tie up everything. That's the only person I know is what he's wearing. Me and Joe are basically wearing the same outfit. Oh, perfect. Two of you will look similar then. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I'll, look, I'll look a little better, but. Okay, so I should, uh, is it on the beach? Are we getting married on the beach? That's what I was thinking. I was like, because I was like, so we're getting married. It's like a a pier that overlooks the ocean. So it'll be outside. So it's gonna be outside. My suit's hot. <laughs> you already sweat, bro. <laughs> my hair's gonna look like shit. But it's in an area where it's nice and windy, pretty. You know it's but windy. I'm gonna have fans <laughs> in, in my shirt. <laughs> But it's only, the ceremony is what, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if that? Yeah, I think something like that. They're pretty short. I, I, I don't know, Max, actually, you and Taylor are doing it. How long is y'all's little? Oh, oh right. shit, yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Holy, you ready? Yeah, well, so Taylor is the officiant. Is that how you say it? Officiant. Yeah, she, I don't know, yeah. No, officiant. she's the minister and you're the officiant, right? Or vice I think, versa? No, I think I she's, she's the one, like, you, you may now kiss the bride, I think. What? She, she's that person. Really? I think. That's Am I crazy. right? Yeah. Is that the officiant? Honestly, we were like, whatever. Wh Heidi whatever doesn't even know, bro. That's crazy. No, because I was like, I was like, so at first it was gonna be you that did the whole thing. I think right? I'm like, the hype I was like man. oh, you and you and um Taylor both do it together. Yeah, so that's cute. I, it was gonna be you, and then and then you wanted to throw Taylor in as well, which makes well, sense. Well, because it's, yeah. it's definitely Taylor doing something because she's ordained. Like she she can oh. legally. Yeah, so she's an ordained minister. Yeah. So she probably be. is gonna like do that for yeah. us. So you'll just like feel like you'll just get up there and say something and then Taylor will come up and take it. Yeah, or that's she could wild, start bro. it. it she that's could start wild it and that then your, your future wife's going to be marrying us. That's cool. I know. I was going to say me, but us. We're, 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 <laughs> we're a team. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> what's what's the most exciting? What's the what's the thing you're most excited about for the wedding? Not just the the wedding. Like, what are you? Uh, I think I'm going to cry as soon as we get there. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just like. Cause He's I've been real emotional. Well, I've kind of been like, well, it's just, I haven't thought about the wedding. Because it's been, so, I've, and we're going for three weeks. So mm -hmm. it's like. Damn. Three weeks is a long time away from work. Mm -hmm. So we, we've both just been like going ham, like lightning, like lightning speed to be sure that everyone's kind of covered the best we can. So it's kind of like, but to, we literally after this, this is the last thing we have to do this podcast and then literally going home to pack. So it's now it's kind of like getting real, you know? Yeah. yeah. So what's been the most, I've already packed, but you know, what's the most stressful thing for the wedding planning? Um, <laughs> Christian's like, what? Seating, <laughs> sending out, like, Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> Me and Hanny have funny memes that just go back and forth. So I would definitely let people know, like, if you do not RCP by this date, you're out. you are not coming. I don't care if you're a family. I don't care if you're blood. I don't care if you're a friend. I don't care if you're your best friend. Because people were RCPing a month after we cut it off. And I was like, Hanny, cut Wait, it off. When did I? I, I RCP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you and Taylor did. Yeah, yeah. There's people RCPing like a month afterwards. Call them out. Like, Call them yeah. by name on the podcast. No, there's a, hand, <laughs> there's a handful of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, no, turn off the website. Like, turn it off. Because like, because you have to submit everything. That's it's like the launch is sold out. Yeah. Sorry, we sold like, out. Yeah, sorry, we sold out. You should RCP. There's a button here. Is that a button or no? I just clicked it. No, it's not a button. Oh. It, it's okay. just a magnetic little no. thing. 
Um, not only that, but then I really appreciate people that RCP'd and then they're they're canceling. Like there was like there was like four or five people. Not a big deal. But actually I appreciate them canceling. So like, hey, yeah. I can't make it. I just want you to know just um, because you know it's out of town, like you know, family things come up, things like that. And I was like, that's it's really nice. It's so of fucking you. expensive for everybody to go. Like, it, it, we know we're not asking for like we don't have a registry. We don't have a registry, right? No, no, none of that. So it's like we know how much of a big deal it is. To like, make the trip. for a destination. Yeah, yeah, it's like ridiculous. Actually, we don't have a registry, but we do have two different organizations that you can donate to. There you go. On the oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Wait, I, don't even I know. literally told you both of them that I was putting yeah. on there. <laughs> I, well, I don't want to ask for friends to donate anything. Wait, no, no, no. It's just as an option. If people oh, okay. were like, "Hey, I want to get you a gift," we're like, "We'd rather." Is that your donate. idea or what? That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where's the wedding ring? Uh, he's not supposed to wear it till the wedding. Yeah. Oh, oh, you just been like trying it on and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and he really liked it, so he's been wearing it every Actually, day. Actually, okay, I have something. I have something to tell you, Christian. Um, so I saw you get the. I saw you get the Cartier Love ring, and that's the ring that I was planning on on getting as well. So either it's yet again going to look like I'm copying you uh, throughout my entire life, <laughs> or we're going to be twinsies. No one's going to think you're copying. Mine's going to be the silver. Why are you pointing at her? Well, you always in silver. I've always in gold, right? Yeah. I look at it like that. That's true. So, Well, it, first of all, with the of, color of, of and any, silver, anything, it's, it's of white an, gold. Of anything, you know what I mean? Like you've always been like the white gold guy. Yeah. And I've always been like the, the gold color choice. Yes. How is so it's just friendship friendship rings. Yeah, we have our friendship nail bracelet. <laughs> we got we're gonna have friendship wedding bands. And Taylor's gonna send us off. That's wild. That's yeah. so cool. That's so cool. No, it's it's gonna be a uh it's gonna be a magical thing. And then what? Right after the wedding, baby time? I was gonna say honeymoon. Oh I'm yeah, I'm like, what's <laughs> you're, you're, you're on the honeymoon. Isn't that, yeah. that, that that is the honeymoon. Yeah. You might be the first are you I don't know, like do people? That's I've never I never thought about that. Like you're getting married at the honeymoon. Yeah, getting, knock it out, bro. Why, yeah, why you're, you're up the schedule yeah. again? You know, <laughs> you're just staying there. Everyone's been asking me like, so we're gonna honeymoon? I was like, in the Caymans, we're staying there. <laughs> yeah, getting a week early, a little mini honeymoon. Yeah, then wedding with the friends, and then you know, relax after. Well, I'm super excited for this. Well, how long are you staying? <laughs> we get in. We're coming Friday to Tuesday. Damn, it's quick. It's good. Thank you. Matt, because thank you. Christian's like, just, just stay like two weeks. Dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll convince yeah. him. I'll convince Christian's him like, you're not going to stay three weeks? <laughs> where are you? Where are you, are you staying at a hotel for three weeks? No, we're staying t for like uh, one, one and a half, like 10 days. 10 days. Yeah, I think 10 And then days. we, uh, it's so expensive at that hotel. So we found, so I, I, my team find <laughs> a cheaper hotel. We got Airbnb. The, our hotel 50% off though. Yeah. Thank you. A little Danielle. red roof in Caymans? <laughs> uh, no, a little Airbnb. Ooh. So I can like cook and stuff, you know? You know, I want to cycle back on something you said earlier when you all were like, oh, like we, we pool our money together. And then you said like, oh, like ask Christian when you buy stuff. Now, y'all. I don't are, think she's ever asked me. And I don't think I've ever no, asked no, her. Yeah, we don't ask each well, other. Well, but like, for the wedding, it was kind of like, okay, what's this our, is a what's larger amount. Well, yeah. right. So like, well, let's it's say. more when than you, $500. <laughs> when you join finances like that, like obviously you would, I, f I feel like you already know, you already know the person well enough to like, no one's just going to. Be like, oh, got more money now. I can go buy crazy shit all the time. But like, especially in, in well, that's like, it's well, like that, me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in y'all scenario, two people that are doing really well for each other, and then, for, um, and then you know, you you pull together. Like, what it what is your mindset if if it's like, let's say it's joint, and you want to buy a a purse for yourself. Like, is that like how do you how do you mentally if if you're like, oh, we have joint, do I let him know that I'm doing this or it's or do you have accept? Like, how does that? To me, you want to talk first? You, you talk no, first. No, no, you can no, go I first. I want to hear your thing. Okay. Uh, so we talked, like, years ago. We, we've kind of talked about, like, okay, we've never really been into, like, doing, like, a joint bank account, right? But mm. but as we are get married, it's like we should create a joint account just to put money in for, like, our um, just, like, house things, yeah. baby things, like, all, all the things, right? So I feel like... You can have your own money, have your own money, and then have something together too. So, separate, separate joint. Yeah, separate, separate joint. Okay. Um, so, yeah. But like a lot of like a, well, our big chunks. We have of money to have that anyway because of our businesses. So it's yeah. like we have yeah. to have our working money. She has her working money. I have my working money, and then pretty much like our pot. We don't, we're, we're trying not to like make a big ass pot in the middle. And that pot, we're just trying to grow as much as possible. And and how are you doing that? 
How are you growing um, this pot? From Max's advice. We're not, you know, I'm not going to dive into the finances, but I just want to briefly, <laughs> I want to briefly, briefly, this will be a short segment. No one freak out. <laughs> short segment. Sure. Heidi. Okay. How do you invest your money? So I have a, a so pot. Timer. I know. So I have a pot. I have a financial a, a, advisor. Drugs are not legal here in Texas. Okay. <laughs> I have a bucket. There you go. <laughs> So I have um, <clears throat> a bucket of money and I have a financial advisor helping me grow it, okay. making an average of like 6%, right? Do you know what is invested in? Um, Do you know what your money is invested in? No, I don't. <laughs> mm. Do you know if it's... But I will say as it's, cause this is something new, right? I think okay. I've been doing this for about a year now. Um, so before you we, didn't really do any investing, you just kind of like had, your money was just sitting. It was just kind of sitting. Okay. Yeah. Um, Damn, so what I so last year, uh, maybe, maybe it's did maybe you ever set like an IRA up before like that? that or like just oh yeah, I mean I have like a SEP IRA already set up. I have uh, my four hundred one k set up. Like I have other things, but when it came into invest investment stocks, bonds like that, I just wasn't as educated. It's something that I am actually trying now. So I I appreciate Max's videos when he's doing it. I'm if like, you got some yeah. questions, I got some yeah. answers. I was at, I like that one that you did where you were talking about the. Um, High interest savings account. I thought it was a great video. Mm -hmm. I was I trying to make so him watch it. He was like, that video? "It." I really appreciate it on a you creative had this, level. Christian, yeah, the shoe oh, box all the way at the top. I was like, "I appreciate this." Um, but anyway, I've been working with my financial advisor for about a year and a half, and I feel like he's doing good. Nothing crazy, and, and I want to learn more. So, actually, one of my business partners for Grounds, um, I kind of came to him, showed him my portfolio, and we kind of deep dived into what I should do long term. So he's actually, for the next year or so, um, introduced me to a few people and introducing me and Christian to a few people. And we're gonna be interviewing different people and seeing, you know, not only investments in stocks, what, but what else, what else they can help with, with high wealth individuals, as, mm -hmm. as they say it. Um, so we're just trying to see what the best outcome is long term, and I, but I don't wanna rush it as I'm trying to find like a high wealth manager. I guess yeah. so well well spoken. She is. She is. Hey, it, 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 it's just like important and like I won't I know I've I've ragged on Christian a lot for like when I when we got to talk about the financial advisor, but I'll just say this. It's it's important for you to know where your money is invested and oh, not yeah. just be like, yeah, John at wealth management who takes a fee, what is that percent? Is it a per mm -hmm. is it one percent? What is it? Like Point do you, five, but yes. They do that's take actually a percentage. Better, but uh still yeah it because a lot of it is if like if you look at a lot of it, like if you were like, hey, show me what I'm invested in, right? You could look at it and you go, go do it yourself. Yeah, you're like, because yeah. yeah. the times have changed. Yeah, the times have changed, and for the most part, they're putting them into index Apple. funds, ETFs, yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, maybe some blue chip stocks, like bonds, treasury bills, and it's like you you could actually do all I do these have things. The treasury bills, I know that. But sometimes that's good. That's good. But at the end of the day. Everyone's like wealth journey is different, and it also is like sometimes like yeah, it's like the point that you for me the point that you I've never the reason I've never like gone into that is because I've never gotten to the point where I could have even like has like thought to take a second to actually set that up because I've been like trying to survive, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like We're it, just trying to survive and, and, and <laughs> pulling your attention away from the business yeah, might exactly. actually cost yeah, you more yeah, money yeah. than like yeah. you doing it. Yeah. But it's just important to know where your money's invested. Yeah. But and I'm definitely getting into that, so maybe we can have like a little double date, and I'll I'll pick your brain because and on, and honestly, you should meet my business partner at the wedding. You'll love him. I mean, I'll y'all will nerd out for sure. I will nerd mm -hmm. out. Um, I mean, for you're gonna like him probably for the past yeah. like two years, and and you finally converted like because I remember I would get texts every like eight months from you and go, hey, what's that credit card you said like I should get or like <laughs> what's like the best credit card for like. Cash back or points or whatever. Yeah. And you, you're finally using, you're, so you weren't even using credit cards for a bro, long time, Heidi right? Heidi just got a fucking credit, bro. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Not Heidi had, like had an Apple credit card and her minimum, oh, yeah. her maximum was like 500 bucks, bro. <laughs> this you is like two years it. ago. Two years ago, Apple card, the only card she could get approved for, 200 bucks or 500 bucks. It was 500. And she's slowly been increasing her limit on the this credit card. And that's. It's up to 7,000 now? <laughs> that's wild. Oh my God, Heidi. Babe, I don't know how I would even have done anything without my Amex. I mean, I, I have Amex. I've had it for two years now. That's You're wild. like, it's in a drawer at the house, but yeah. I have one. No, 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 I have it. I, I use all credit cards to get points now. 
Yeah, you'd be for, proud. For 100% of your purchases, you should be using credit card. Yep. It's like 98%, but yeah. All right, we got to bump those numbers up. There's 2% I'm unaccounted <laughs> for, and we got in. Okay. Max is not impressed. So, no, I mean, I'm impressed that you're, yeah, no, I am. That's why, I am. That's why, that's why you're all excited to do it now. Because, like, because uh, I would, I'd, she'd be watching, like, or hearing, I just oh, hear, like, like, business stuff. The fun, though I'm like, babe, like, turn this shit off. It was, like, <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning, and I was, like, like on my sketch pad, yeah, like, drawing I'm out like, all this stuff I for, woke for up, came down for, like, a snack. I'm like, what are you doing? She's, like, listening to investments. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> We're good. What are you doing? <laughs> but she's interested now because she's at that point now where she can. She's. It's actually like feasible for her. She's like in a yeah. good spot. Christian's like, babe, what are you doing, honey? Did you know that the uh, the um, the S and P five hundred actually had an all time high, and I think it's actually <laughs> bouncing off resistance. I think it might be a good time uh. to invest. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm asleep. <laughs> I, you're, I'm literally sleeping right now. Like, I just I don't care. <laughs> Wait, do y'all go to? Bed at different times when you're home. No, we, she we go stays up the same later time. than I do. I'm definitely very creative at night, or okay. or, or that's when I want to look into things like fucking investments. She's on her okay. phone all night. Here's a scenario: you're both on the couch watching some sick. I'm watching TV. She's he usually goes to bed first. Okay, so if one of you is like, um, all right, like I want to go to bed, or like it's time I'm, I'm I want to want to go on to the bed. couch. <laughs> do does the other person always go like, okay, like let's go to bed, or is it like I'm not tired yet, I'm gonna stay up. We're so different. Because like Taylor and I, people, like, when <laughs> we're so different. Taylor and I right go, to go to bed at the same time. Like, we go at the same time. So you actually, like, go to bed. I think it's I because mean, we nah. have a cloud couch, so we fall asleep on the couch, like, almost every, every night. night. Really? It's so yeah. comfortable, yeah. Yeah. Huh. We should probably start sleeping in the bed. I know, yeah. Wait, like, you don't, like, wake up and then go to the bed at, like, 2 a.m. when you realize you're on <laughs> no. the couch? No. We have a I cloud, put, though. Bro, the I get cloud, the, I get the gravity. Too, right? yeah. Yeah. It's I get, so comfortable. I get yeah, the gravity what's... blanket, the 50-pounder, oh. and I, like, I put it on my back, and I walk to the spot that I want to get to, and I just, like, <laughs> lay my ass down, and I, like, trap myself under the blanket, 50 pounds. <laughs> And, and I, I just, crawl underneath. And, and then Heidi, and open it for Heidi. She comes in, <laughs> and we just fucking, like, it's like a nest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, nest. you know what's actually more comfortable in the cloud couch? Actually, Helix Mattress, which is the sponsor of today. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. That would have been so good. I don't have that any sponsors for the, for the podcast. Yeah, that's good. I you can't know even, you could get some, right? You could nah. get some big ones. The, the problem is, like, uh, a lot of them, like, the, I'd, the, the rate isn't what I want, and I'd rather not even do an ad. Because I'd rather not mess up the flow of the podcast. Yeah. So why I'd rather. Why don't you just be do, doing the sour strips? Be like we interrupt this that. ad. Could do that. I can tell people until I'm blue in the face to eat more sour strips, and you know that's yeah. why I got this new T-shirt right here. Mm. I like can't a sick e commercial play. You I know? can't even lift a 50 pound uh, blanket. Because your hernia. Yeah, I have, yeah. I have surgery March 18th. <sighs> Damn, bro. I, can, I can only lift. I can only lift 20 pounds until the surgery, <sighs> and then probably for the month after. I, like I'm. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna I'm go. not going to make any small jokes. Oh, I'm going to go away. Uh, I'm not going to make any jokes about it because that's fucked. Wait, for how long? Surgery is March 18th. I probably have a like up to two weeks before, like a week or two of me like literally probably being a waste of space. And then after that, I can probably go back to the gym, but it'll still be like Ugh. no more than like 20, 30 pounds. Right, so when we get back to, from vacation, we're going to go see you. Oh, it sucks, bro. Yeah, it's terrible, <laughs> honestly. How's your toe? My intestines are pushing through my abdominal wall. Oh. How's your toe? Um, still hurts. Still, yeah. Same. Or, apart. God, do y'all do y'all have any like body? I feel like you have always like aches and stuff. Do you ever? Yeah, my back. Like I twist and turn sometimes because my back kind of hurts here and there. That's about it, right? Probably been so, like nothing on your body has start like stopped working as well, or like, have you ever had like a surgery or anything? Oh, she's so uh, healthy, like in breast like, augmentation, like ten years ago. That's. About I mean, it. like a surgery, like a like a. That's the only surgery I've ever had. Nothing else. She doesn't like break it. She doesn't herself. She's never like, broken a bone. Knock on wood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this real wood. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure. So you guys, uh, you gonna try to start pumping out babies soon? Mm-hmm. Yep. Actually, I uh, went to the. We actually, I just got my prescription today for dick enlargement. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a dick reduction. <laughs> uh, <Okay>. And. Uh, <laughs> Actually, that's what the doctor said of my, I asked if uh, if I'm carrying too much weight, is that's why the hernia, yeah. and, he said, and he said, absolutely not. <laughs> I forgot the question, would you ask? Um, babies. 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 Oh, you yeah. went to the doctor, got a prescription. Yeah, I finally got my prescription, so it's like, uh, for what? For the, to get the semen reduction, so 
I did like a test. Well, I did one test and reduction. Uh, sorry, uh, was it semen analysis? I did, and I did one, and it didn't come. It didn't come out completely zero, but like there's still something there. So you got, so you got your, but, you got tested to find out if you were like fertile. Yeah, right? there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and but we had really weird feelings, r- weird vibes from the urology that we did that first one at. So I went to this new urologist that was recommended downtown Houston. So good, bro. So I saw good. in your video you talked about that. Mm-hmm. So good. You want to talk on that more? Yeah. So basically, we have been, you know, not <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. been about like a year. I stopped taking birth control, and we haven't been. Yeah, we know how babies work. Or not, whatever, yep, right? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so after a while, we were like, okay, we're. I got all my stuff checked out, so men is it's usually a little easier for them to do yeah. the testing. So I wanted period. to finish prep and then get te- and then like, so I finished prep in August, end of August, and then September went to the first urology appointment, mm-hmm. um, and that's when What's keep it called? urology, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. And that's when like really I I would probably be the most fucked up in my body like after a crazy prep. That's when I was like two hundred thirty two pounds, um, and I don't know if that's gonna affect that directly. And they don't really know for sure because it could also just be genetic if you don't have a lot of like mm-hmm. swimmers. So um, yeah, the new urologist prescribed me three things for it. So now I have three things I need to take to get that going. But he's like super. He's like very hopeful and all that. Yeah. But, is it yeah. like every week it gets Bro, better, or is it every like get this. Monday, Wednesday, Friday? You want to know Friday. what I have to do? Tell me. <sighs> this shit sucks. I'm gonna have to do, you know, like the insulin needles, uh, like the thin ones, the yes. little ones. So I have to do. Uh, HCG and LSH. So there's a two like hormone things that can, can kick it going uh, in my fucking stomach. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Why in your st- you can't do it anywhere else? Mm, no, so I'd be right there. Right in the, I'd put it right in the belly button. Right in the belly. Right in the center. <laughs> hey, I Lisa. Thought, I think, wasn't it insulin, HCG, No, it's, and it's HCG, LS, L, L, LFA, LSH, or FA, L, whatever that one. And then um, testosterone, 200 milligrams a week. Except being eight. You have to. I, I thought test lowers the sperm count. He wants to keep. He wants me at two hundred constantly. So I was like, okay. Man, what if my sperm count's low and then I have to get on test, dude? I would. Can you imagine <laughs> me? On, what if you just walked in? I'm just jacked, just swole. I'm already at like peak genetic potential. Imagine if I took it to the next level. <laughs> two hundred megs of testosterone. Yeah. I wouldn't get big on two hundred. You you get bigger. Mm. You would not get like. Okay. I mean, so one <laughs> one. What's the what's the total amount of little Guzmans you want running around? Like no limit. two. Uh, I feel like Three, there's not really a limit. I, yeah. We're just gonna wing it. See how it goes. Okay, now I'm gonna ask a very controversial question. Oh gosh. For you, Heidi. Okay. <laughs> now, this is this is uh, it's a okay. Whatever happens, happens, right? You're gonna love ah. equally, but if you could would you lean more towards having a girl or boy first? <laughs> I was like, where are we going with this? <laughs> I feel like people so get dramatic. like really, really like. I know the back. I, I've heard I've heard people oh, go they, crazy about are it. Are people sensitive about it or what? Well, I mean, because the idea is like, well, whatever you get is great, right? Yeah. But it's like, if in the world. Everybody grows up like, pro, pro, yeah. like with something in mind. Mine's kind of changing, honestly. Yeah. I, I think growing up, I've always wanted like a boy. I would I would love either. I would love either mm-hmm. equally, but I was like, man, I, I love a, I would love a little boy. Um, I think I I'm know, gonna keep having kids so we have both genders. Yeah. Yeah. Christian was like, I want a girl, so I was like, great. So I was like, but then now I'm like, I really want. I, I, I mean, if y'all are like both. Katie and Hayden yeah. Schneider, then you're gonna, right? gonna have four, wild, like three four or four boys. Four boys. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. Paul, he doesn't need no <laughs> HCG, bro. Yeah, just crazy. <laughs> Hayden's good. Yeah. <laughs> Why would? I feel like having a boy first would be the most ideal, not because, you know, a girl needs a boy to protect, but it's like, wouldn't you want like the older brother to kind of look over? Not that they need it. <laughs> it's but like, like yeah. When, are, yeah, when are you mature enough to really like look over? The girl's going to think, when are you old enough? To well, actually? because if we have a, a son, a strong son, we're going to make sure they start lifting at what, age three? Three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. We're so start putting muscles. protein in the, in the baby not, shake. Yeah, they're not yeah. just going to be any like average baby. They're going to be yeah. like a jacked kid. Um, Mom would be a guru by fifth grade, a fitness guru by fifth grade. Oh, God. Yeah, for sure. But I think a little boy would be. Great. I know he wanted a girl. Now he's kind of like, no, I, th- I think I actually would like a boy. But I think that. Oh, you wanted a girl originally first? Mm-hmm. Oh, he wanted a girl so bad. He would see a little girl and be like, oh, and just oh, melts. Why, yeah, yeah. Melts. Why, why is that? 
I, I, I don't hear I guys wanting girls girl. first. Okay, His new off lead athlete wearing Amplify in the future. <laughs> no, no. I just, uh, I don't know. I love kind of the love I get from Heidi, from Nala, my mom. You know, I just love like feeling like they can take care. Hey, really quick, for because I'm going to forget it. This is totally off, uh, not on topic. In your video, you said you're looking for like a short word. It starts with the A. I think I know the word, unless you've already used this. What? Should I say it on there? Can I say it? Yes. Aspire? Do you have one of that? Do you already have that's that? That's not a bad name because that we've done Aspire, but we could could bring it back mm. because it's it's like we had it. Remember the the shirts that were super like uh, kind of bouncy? They were like they were kind of see the chest hair. I can from. I can envision you doing the videos, guys. Look how stretched this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this. Look at per perfect he fit. Did perfect do that length. All the time. Perfect length. Look at this. Look at that, that's, it's like that, a sponge. That's what sold the premium <laughs> joggers. Oh, I trust you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was those examples. Yeah. Okay, so kids, super exciting. Um, are you and we're you're very adamant on us having children at the exact same time, mm -hmm. ideally yes. in the same well, couple of seconds, that, right? It, well, the same year, hundred percent. That'd be so cool, like, right? Yeah. Imagine our kids being best friends. Well, I, I just really think it's important that ideally if they're in the same grade. Well, I I think you always want your kids like ideally, you know, do what they think is best. But nah, I think for, for our kids, like Forced. here's where who here's where your friends are going to be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a handful of people. That, <laughs> their kids are your friends, and, and okay? Charlie and Joe's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny because my parents did that for us. So you'll meet my best, one of my best friends at the wedding, Brittany. Our parents were best friends, and she was there when I was born. She's one year older than me. There's also not that many people in Alaska, yeah, right? That's true. <laughs> well, it was also the only neighbor within a thirty mile radius, so yeah. <laughs> that played into it. But that, my, that my, or a polar bear. Yeah, <laughs> but like we've been we've been best friends for our whole lives, which is pretty cool. Okay. But they yeah. also introduced me to like other kids when I was younger and I was like, no. I'm actually super excited to, for a lot of reasons for the wedding, but also to like, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people that like I've never met from y'all's yeah. Yeah. Your family, friend world that like is, is outside the, the circle. Cause that's where like the weddings come together. It's like your close friends that you haven't seen in like five years, mm -hmm. but you still keep in touch that like, you know, you're going to come to the wedding. Kind my, of thing. my two roommates from college are doing a duo speech. I'm slightly them, scared. Them and my brother. <laughs> and and she uh, she told me to text both of them that they only have two minutes total. And I go, babe, I don't have to. It's like, no. And she goes, no. And, and, you, and so I sent, I individually texted them both, hey, wife says, we always say just wife says. Yeah. <laughs> wife says, like, we don't, <laughs> wife says, keep it under two minutes. Is it, it an open it, bar? Uh, yes. Yes. Oof. If, if they're drinking before, it might be I know. 20 I know. Minutes. Then yeah. Joey, Joey's the one I'm worried about. He goes, God, uh, what do you go? What do you go? Thousand minutes. Got it. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, so much fun though. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm excited to meet, like, see everyone, see your family, um, yeah. who like, I mean, rarely come down. Um, and so after the uh, we got babies, we got that, we got the wedding. Y'all briefly, we're looking at like land. Is that still? Yeah. Is is a new house in the future? Or? We're gonna pick that up when we get back. Yeah, we, we kind of put a pause just because like work was crazy and then wedding. I just needed a video that day, so yeah. we took us to the land. <laughs> well, no, we we wanted to, but w there was nothing that really captured our interest at the time. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I want like a minimum of like three. It's like there's a piece of land, and we were just like very expensive piece of land, and that's really all we like looked at. So it was very blank slate. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. So I want I want an about. orchard and a garden and be able to like three acres, but we actually want a smaller house. Yeah, we don't want to like. I think at first when we were looking at that crazy house, I mean, we still want, do you still want a gym and a pool and all that? Uh, yeah, it's like on, on the acreage, <laughs> but not like the house, the house to be yeah. small. Yeah. What is small? What like is small to Christian? 3,000, 4,000, 3,500 square feet. There is no way you're going to build a 3,500 square foot Just house. Just watch. No, the house, the no, house. I would say. Not the girl, not including girl. Okay. The, Everything together, probably five thousand square feet. Yeah, that's not uh, small. That's, that's not in, massive. Well, in the square footage, your the garage don't count. Oh, okay, they don't count. Thirty five hundred. Oh, there's no world where your house is gonna be thirty five hundred. Shock you. I'm actually kind of stressed. The house we're planning on building is actually like it might be. I might be thinking too big. How yeah. big? Like double what he said. Six? Ten thousand? No, seven thousand. What, what math did you just do? <laughs> My math isn't happening <laughs> today. <laughs> Like like six to seven, without Hon garage. Honestly, though. Yeah, but the, I want the rooms to be bigger. It's not like yeah. I want like eight bedrooms. It's just like, hey, the the bedrooms for the kids because we're planning on having like a bedroom for each of our. We're planning on having three kids. We want three bedrooms for the kids, and then you need like a guest bedroom that's not those ones. Yeah. And those ones, I don't want them to be 
you know, like I grew up in a really small bedroom. I want mm. to have a kind of like larger, but not like oversized. Did you share but, your bedroom with your brother or no? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, I shared a room yeah, for share rooms. most of it. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I, I shared- mean nothing, but like my parents just couldn't afford no, a house. No, I mean like for your kids. No, for your kids to have like two in one room. Sometimes like, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Well, I think the only reason that most people sh- have their kids share rooms is not because they're trying to get them to hang out. It's because their house isn't big enough to have their own bedroom. Yeah. So I'm I'm fortunate enough that I can have them have their own bedroom. Yeah. But for all I care, little Billy and Johnny and Susie and whatever can like. You know, like everyone can bunk together or whatever. I don't care. I think the house will be more than thirty five hundred, only because like we're talking about homeschooling, so we need like oh, yeah, we need yeah, a proper yeah. room for homeschooling. Are y'all gonna school them, or are you gonna like hire someone to come? Uh, I, well, we haven't really mapped it out. I think when they're really <laughs> young, it'd be I nice can, for them to go to school because I want them to have that uh, interaction with other kids, like kindergarten. Beginning? Yeah, like the first maybe few baby years. Get beat up. I'm, I'm open to stuff. Yeah, but then after a few years, they've made some friends. They're maybe in like a sport or two if they want to. Then we can pull them out, do homeschooling, and then I—I I mean, we could do it to a certain extent. But then I think bringing in a tutor to kind of help. I can barely do basic yeah, algebra. Right. I'm yeah, stupid. I was like, once I get to middle school, I'm, like, I'm out. Well, you—you you were homeschooled, right? <laughs> yes. So is that—is that like, uh, wait, you hated it? I hated it. So why are you gonna? We well, it, it. it depends on the kid, right? So I think in Alaska, you're already isolated, and now you're even isolated more. Where in the states, y'all have—he was t- saying that there's like. Homeschool kids can go do different sports and stuff. No, you. Yeah, like, you, you're allowed to let them out of the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, oh, it's perfect. Um, as long as they're, they have social interaction. That's why we need you to have a kid. So our kid has a friend. Yes, because I have very plus three here, guys. <laughs> well, we should all have kids together. Um, uh, create houses. Are you planning together. on homeschooling or like public or private or what? So the place where we uh, bought our land um, is actually in this school district that is like a really I say upscale but I don't mean like a bougie I mean like it's like really new and it's like a really well I, I, George Ranch mm, nice yeah. yeah so like the our house is like right around the is in that school district uh, yeah it was like the nice school when we were yeah and so so I think that's like a good one like I'm someone like I came from public so I'm one. like oh that that's fine Taylor is kind of on the fence of whether she wants private yeah, I, she's, I don't think home school is starting to change you know it's like I I, I it's uh, yeah, I'm kind of. Are you more worried about like the danger of your kid or like teachers teaching things that aren't in the curriculum, which is what Joe says of why private is like with public, you can have the teacher teaching, you know, th- there's all this stuff I, that is outside I, I, of the I curriculum. I feel like I became who I was because of public school. So. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> truly. But then you have somebody amazing like her who didn't. Well, you went to high school, public school. Yeah, but like the last three years. You turned out all right. Yeah, see? Yeah, out but okay. I feel like that's very lucky. I feel like that's very lucky, honestly. She's a like, homeschool kid from Alaska and she made it. But she, yeah, yeah, with so many brothers and sisters, such a big family. Like, but yeah. I feel like for if it was just like us two having one kid in homeschooling, I feel like it's like you need to get him out. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's what's like. I feel like each kid is different too. I feel like, like I would de- nowadays might... I'd definitely do private if I were yeah. going to do one or the other. And let's say maybe the, because I've, I've heard this with different, you know, because my, my brothers and sisters, like, they homeschool, and then some of their kids go to school. They really just listen to the kid, like, hey, like, what do you want? Not, like, mm. that they would make the ultimate choice, huh? but, um, like, some of the some of the kid kids. make the choice? No, no well, I mean, what do you want to learn like, today? hey, like, no, if they're in public school, sometimes my, my sister would be like, hey, are you getting bullied? Are you uncomfortable? Like, because sometimes, like, crazy shit happens at public school or I never school. got bullied in school. I did. My dad fucked that kid up, bro. Oh, <laughs> I bet he did. I could see that. God. <laughs> you got made fun of? Uh, yeah. For what? Jalen, this guy in uh, second or third grade. I remember he would just like, and Reese just fucking like push me, you know? And I, I didn't push back because I was told not to, not to, you know? And so my dad found out they had like, you know, open lunches. So then the parents would come and you like go to a different table and have, you know, eat with your parents. So like once a week or once every other week, my mom would come. This time my dad showed up, bro. I'm like, why is my dad here? Just assaulted a child? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> my, why is my dad here? He walks up, bro. He had, after uh, lunch, I don't even think he brought me food. I think we just, like, had a lunch. He just like showed up. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll eat with you. And then we line up to go to recess. And he was like, Jalen, he was like a few kids down. My dad just walks up to this kid. I can see this. Bro, I, I know. He goes, you fuck with my son? <laughs> You go, you're never fucking my son again. You hear me? And just walked away, bro. 
And he like, just put the fear of God. Yeah, bro. It never got fucked with again. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Are, I mean, I could probably think of a couple things, but like, what about you as a kid made you get picked on? Oh, uh, I had really skinny legs. That was one. Right. So I, you know, I didn't stop wearing shorts. Right. Like, Who makes fun of? What, okay, okay, elementary kids that, you know, I don't know. Just like you, just like push me and shit. Like I don't oh. know. I don't remember really. I don't think I've ever gotten, which is crazy because I am quite annoying. I got picked so. on in middle school too. <laughs> uh, just like with because I was just so quiet. Were you a loser? I was so quiet, bro. I didn't really stand up for my. I, I was just like very like going to just like if people fuck with me or mess with me or whatever, I would just not kind of laugh. But I wouldn't like say stop or I wouldn't. I was a pushover. Would you, if Heidi, if your little beautiful baby, the scenario boy. Little beautiful baby boy comes home from school crying. L- little little Billy, why are you cr- why are you crying? Tell me, tell tell mama. Boys, boy, punch me at school. What advice do you give him? Do you do you tell him to punch his ass back? Do you, do you <laughs> tell, to tell the teacher? Um, well, it's funny. It's not funny, but my ma- my nephew. It was similar situation, right? Uh, at Christmas, and I was like, "Give me the address. I'm bringing <laughs> Christian. I'm gonna make sure he's wearing a tank tank top. Yeah. I'm gonna have him go talk to that boy." That was, that was, he didn't punch him, but like was like being mean to Jace. And so I was like, you're going to show up tomorrow with a little tiny tank top on. You're going to go in there and show him your muscles. I was ready. Oh, I you're don't know, ready. I don't you're know ready. what I would do. I mean, do. we it's wouldn't like, be mean to the kid. Just be like, hey. Yeah, we, we're saying this, but I think go to the if, if times were different, if, if it was actual reality, we'd probably have a different, I don't know. I don't know. I was I don't think I would, because I just be, I don't know. I don't know. Because because you know how a lot of kids, um, or a lot of people now will be like, you know, my my parents said, like, if someone pushes you, push them back. Or, you know, hey, don't. Go to the teacher. I never experienced that. I right? would, I would, so, I would uh, let the parents know, like, actually, in the, I would, not like a I would just in a way of what's going on yeah. if it wasn't addressed. Um, but I would definitely tell my kid to, like, fucking don't ever let anybody touch you like that. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who, who is going to be the parent that is going to be the, like, who's going to be the... Good cop, bad cop. Who's good cop? Good cop. I feel like I'll be the bad cop. That's how Taylor says. She's like, she's like, yeah. But she's like, I, I know you're just gonna be like the one to be like, Dad said it was okay. Yeah. Taylor's I feel like, like that's well, exactly mom what's said gonna no. happen. <laughs> um, I'm excited to be a dad, bro. Yeah, I. The more like the older that I get, it was always something like, okay, I think maybe I want to be a dad. But now I'm just, I think it's just like the older you get, especially when you find someone that like the more you, the more you figure shit out. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, like. You gotta figure it out. And I'm ready for more. And, Having kids like, be wild. I know. Like I'm like, what do you do? <laughs> Literally, what do you yeah. do? And I don't read books, so I'm gonna be. Like, I'm not gonna read any books. I'm, I'm sure we'll read, like audio books and stuff. You know, you're not gonna audio book the cat and the hat to the kid. No, before I'm to learn about the kids before you have them. Well, like you, you in the read, nine months, you read books like you f- what to expect before you're expecting. Just don't let them die. That's the only. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't give them water. Yeah, apparently you can't give babies water in the first year or something. Yes, guys. I, I it, even Taylor answered wrong. Right, like all of you would have killed your kid. Because you have to have formula with it. Formula. Uh, I feel like you have to. You probably have to chug like at least twenty ounces. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so when y'all have kids, right now you can like kind of do whatever with your businesses because you don't have you have a lot of responsibilities, but you don't have you know a tiny human that you need to make sure it doesn't die, right? Uh, what is like your life going to look like business wise when you start having a family? Um. Which we, we've kind of talked about. I mean, honestly, the last like year, we've really offloaded a lot to our teams. Like, I, I've, I think I've spent the last two years really building out my team. I have different directors and departments now. And really, Buff Money Collection doesn't need me at this point, which feels good. I, yeah, like, I, I still make good. a lot of decisions. I can be as involved as I want to, so I'm very involved right now. But I know that once, and, and the teams, I've been prepping them for like two years. I'm like, hey guys, you know, I can't do all the sample try ons. Like, who's going to be the extra small, like, fit model when I'm pregnant? Or, um, if God forbid, if I get pregnant, there's a thing called, um, gosh, what is it called? HG. You get really sick for 10 months. Like for I'll, 10 like, months. Yeah. You're bedridden for 10 months. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me, but no, I just like to prepare. Out. Just like the whole pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah. So my sister-in-law, she was, she's bedridden for oh, wow. 10 months, the entire pregnancy, That's vomiting terrible. like six times a day. There's just no fit. There's no, your body mm. thinks it's a parasite and with each pregnancy, it gets worse, but mm. they had three beautiful ones, and then they adopted their four, so now they're like, all right, we're done. No more kids. So she she went through the hard times, but I was like, man. So I, I, I've been telling my team for two years, I'm like, if that happens to me, we need a backup. So I have really backup great- Backup CG. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so I have directors in every single department now, um, and it feels great. They just, I mean, I don't have to go to every photo shoot. I go because I want to when I do go. 
that's a quote right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to go every photo shoot, but well, it's because I have a I have a great team. Like they're phenomenal, and I trust them. And I mean, honestly, like they make better content than I did when it was when I was in charge. Isn't that the worst though? When you think you're like I could do the best of everything, and then like you What's start best, delegating, bro? and then they start doing really well, and you're like, damn it, they are they're doing it better than I was. <laughs> like I love that shit. <laughs> I actually love it. So whenever I'm hiring for a position, I'm like, I want some. I want to hire someone that's like, that's better like than a, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I almost feel like the like the more, and this is like a great thing of like the delegating out is like the the businesses keep growing, but it's and I, I don't, hopefully you guys somewhat agree with me um, is that like the business is busier than it's ever been, but I feel like I don't have to put in the same amount yeah, of hours calmer. per day that I did in the first two years that I yeah. do now, even though it's substantially a bigger company, but I can, you know, at like eight o'clock with Taylor, like make dinner and watch a movie every single night. Like, yeah. whereas before it's like, I need to be on the computer. I need to be on the computer. I need to be like doing all this shit. And I'm almost like working less, but it's just more like, I think it's very specific work that I'm doing. Working mm -hmm. smarter. Yes. So if I, when I work from home, I can literally, what would take me 10 hours at Alphaland, I can do in two and a half. No, I hate that. I don't like working from home. I do now. I love coming to the office. I'd rather I love I have a it. balance. I, well, I love doing what I what I have to do at home, and then I go to the office to check with my man and just to walk around and like be the present. The yeah, be like the not the energy, but just be the leader. No, not not even because I like to do the the busy like task shit at home, and then go to just like show face and like in relationship build. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like be the positive energy, and not be like. I'd rather be CEO from home and just and be me and you know in person I'd joke around like this is this but I'm gonna answer you from home. I feel like I always uh it, sometimes you know, really I'm just in the conference room for meetings now. Actually, I don't even like have really yeah it's always conference room stuff which is fine. Y you know the phrase like you know lead by example. A lot of times like and I I shouldn't feel this way but a lot of times I feel like oh I need to be in the office whenever my employees are at the office because they need to see that I'm working on the business, even though, you know, when I'm not there, I'm doing things that are, you know, I'm not at home playing Resident Evil, which I'd love to do. But like, you ever feel that way? Do you ever feel like you need to be like, people I need to see to. you be working? I used so to. That, yeah. But now it's like, I fucking know I'm working. <laughs> so, yeah. so they like, if, if my employee doesn't think I'm working, then okay. Like, don't just leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll get somebody better. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what's what's all like? Give us a little update on Buff Bunny life, because a lot's happened. Um, yeah, a lot's happened. I would say I also used to have that mindset too, where I feel like I always yeah. had to be at work. Yeah, yeah, I think we all we all went through like a we, big phase of that. We all did. I feel like I was the worst. I feel like Max is like second worst. But I feel like you've been like you've had the healthiest relationship. I feel like too, not having to be there. Like, yeah, you can but work that's anywhere. Happened, like the last like year and a year or two, I can work anywhere. And my team knows I'm working because like, like I don't text anyone. I do everything through Slack and they'll get messages like two o'clock in the morning in Slack. It doesn't notify them cause it's off obviously. Um, but it's like, Hey, like, can you guys message this um, influencer? Oh, I really like this YouTuber. Can we message? It's like, I'm constantly in Slack at all different hours. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they, they know I'm working. Um, I mean, at the end they, they're always like, you're the boss. You don't have to be here every single day. Like, you know, because I feel like if we you think, all put if, yeah, so if you, much If you think time, being here is like the thing that you're being, that's going to affect your business, it's like you're wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's not. I, I do feel like you need some sort of like leader in there, mm -hmm. like some sort of manager, director, like something. It's really nice for your team to have someone to look at. But if you're like, if you're the owner and you're, just, you're at a computer feeling like in a room, feeling like you need to be there to be there to like with because of pressure or thinking like others are going to judge if you're not there. There's like moving the that's mouse around your computer. Yeah, just like, like that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's <laughs> no, it's your business. Yeah. So how's, how's, how's Buff Bunny? It's good. We, um, you know, crushing it and Grounds is doing really well. I, I have, honestly, I just have a really good team. Yeah, Ground, what, grounds what is are, killing it. Bro. What are all the businesses you have? So I have, obviously I'm owner CEO of Buff Bunny Collection, owner CEO of Grounds and lead trainer technically of Grounds. Well, Woo. yeah, Woo. and then I'm building a headquarters, so we're hoping to break ground in April, could be May, up to the city. Everything's done. I've picked out every single thing that's going in the headquarters. All of the drawings are finished, so now we're just waiting for the city to approve. Do you think you are going to be over the budget wedding percentage or less or more? Uh, 
Yeah, so I have, we actually got the budget back um, because I'm doing a commercial loan for it. And honestly, it wasn't that much over. I would say it was 20 to 25% over what I initially budgeted for. And so from that, I'm like, cool, let's scale back. How big's the building gonna be? How big's the land first? uh, The land is an acre, 1.2 acres, and then- That's the size of my, my house lot. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, maybe it was 1.5. I'll have to I'll have to it's check. 1.5. Damn it. Is it 1.5? Okay. Um, because I know once we once we build the building, the parking lot, everything we actually have do have some extra land that I was like, oh, I could build a yeah, a garden something, or something, a an garden. orchard, something. Yeah, something. Because for every tree we pull out, we have I was sitting to up plant the one for a certain amount. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I could put some apple trees, lemon trees, avocado or trees, that. something, you know, something in the back there. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could get a back to the environment. Garden. And stuff, I was whatever. like, I want a zen garden. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're hoping to break ground in April for that. How big is the done. building you think you're going to like uh, square? I want to say it's 28,000 square feet. Maybe like and that's, and that's no distribution. That's no, that is office. Oh my gosh, Max, you have to see it. It's beautiful. It's, I've only seen like on your it stories is, and like little teasers. Well thought out. Very like I have picked out every single tile, every single okay. curtain for, for the vibe. It, how would you compare the vibe of the aesthetic to alpha land? Uh, I mean, it's hard because we're not public, right? So we're just private office. Like no one can come to the actual facility unless we did something like. No, I meant like. No, I meant like the the like where Christian is, like black everywhere, oh, kind yes, of yes, like yes. what is. I would say it's definitely more neutrals. Like, and, and honestly, he helped um, the last couple of meetings. Love he came those. with me and he loved it. He had he, so much. He fun. basically was like recommending all the stuff that he wish he had done in certain spaces. For yeah, like, yeah. No, this yeah. picture I couldn't <laughs> yeah. done that. Do this one, which was great because I watched him when he was building Alfland. It was great because a lot of the things that he was doing right, and then some things he was like, "Shit, I should. I wish I wouldn't have done that." I learned as well, and so as I was drawing out this building, and working with the team. I kind of, it was, it was an easier process. Like I kind of understand. They were like, hey, we don't want to like a lot of revisions or this and that slows us down. I'm like, don't worry, once I make a decision, I won't change it. <laughs> like yeah. I won't change it. Cause I saw the frustration that he went through when he was mm-hmm. doing that. And how long ago did you buy the land? A I year. bought, honestly, like about a year ago. So a year ago, and you said you hoped to break ground in the spring. And when would you, when do you estimate completion? So they were, because we've done so much pre-production the last year, um, I went back and forth with the architects, a design firm, and we really like nailed down the entire building. So once they break ground, they they actually don't really need me much, like at all. They're, every once in a while, if we have like a an issue, we might ask like what replacement you need, but everything's been drawn out. Um, we're hoping, he, he, they were like in a rush, we could probably do it in 12 months because everything's already thought out, but it could be a year and a half. And I was uh, like, hey. Fall I'm, 2025. I'm, I'm already expecting a year and a half. Or spring 2026. Yeah. Let me ask you this because this is a this is a from my my worrisome brain, and I want to know why how you think differently because Christian thinks this way, and I admire it a lot. Is like what goes on in your head of something like you said you bought the land a year ago? Yes. Okay, to buy something a year ago, it take a year to start, take another year and a half to potentially build. So you're looking at three and a half years from when you first like oh, I want to build an HQ. Like That's exactly my, how long it took to do Alpha. Yeah. yeah. Like my fear of doing something like that is whether it be what if the business is going too well and it needs way bigger or what if <sighs> like is, what if the bad happens and I, like then I don't need that or what if I need more space? Like how do you how do you anticipate just looking I'm not going to lie, just looking at the hotel building that's at Alphaland sitting there that's like 10,000 square feet and I could like I could have literally like, like I can't I don't ever I don't say it but recently I've been like God man I could have fucking just built for her you know I think you <laughs> always like mentioned like oh why don't you just take that building yeah but it wasn't big enough because she needs a lot more than that well I think we could have made it made it work because we we like, I, I'm downsizing work, yeah. Alpha Land or Alpha Elite a little bit like staff wise you could have built it over a little bit more know, in the field know, like know, you could have yeah. added on yeah. to it I know. Well, I think but, you had offered but, that at but one the reason point. I did offer it, but the reason that we, the reason I'm pr- I'm happy we didn't is because like the fact that she's buying this land and buying everything, her assets and everything, and her not ass, you're gonna make a joke. <laughs> 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 it'll it'll really like just help her. She doesn't. Heidi's cash rich, but like property, like like asset, not as much. I'm more like the opposite. Uh, so I think it's gonna help just really be able to when you have stuff like that it's so much easier to get, not have to use your own money for shit. Yeah. Mm. So I think it'd be good. 
Yeah, and I think with the building too, um, it, it's just going to be nice. I have I have a situation. So let's say I outgrow it. I, I don't think I'm going to necessarily outgrow it because it's twenty eight thousand square feet. Yeah. It's a good size, and actually I outsource the majority of my team. So. I'm a big believer in having a director, a manager, one or two people on department outsource everything. Well, the fact else. that you're the fact that it's over twenty thousand square feet of just like yeah, it's, it's ex- employees it's, it's a lot yeah. of office space, is like babe. a lot. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of office space. So like, I don't think you're gonna outgrow it. Yeah, I don't I'm, think I'm gonna outgrow it. But in the case it does, let's say, I don't know, like I always plan for everything, right? Let's say Buff Money Collection just tanks, right? <laughs> what are we gonna do with this building? So the way Root that I <laughs> yeah, No, the way I the way I built it out, first of all, it's in a business park. So to be able to resell it very high. You're not, you're not making it the part. shape of like a giant B, right? Like Absolutely okay. not. No, that was actually- <laughs> I had an idea to make an A, bro, no, I, and my land. <laughs> <laughs> so the architect drew a few th- different things and I was like, as cool as it is having a B on the top of the roof, I don't want to do that because if I resell it in the future, I actually built it to where half of the building, it would be easy. It's half fashion studio, half, um, uh, no, sorry, half half design and half production, like for photo shoots and yeah. everything. So really high ceilings, and then the and other ha- and then the other half, yes, is um, office spaces. It'd be really easy for any company in that business park to go in, buy, and be like, oh, perfect, this is half half office, half warehouse. They could open it up to be a warehouse, like Sour Strips. Yeah, and and she's putting a, a gym area as well in there, private gym, which I helped a lot with. That's why I'm looking saying that. Um, so <laughs> that space right there is a really nice, just like showcase area that they could showcase literally anything or just like do whatever they want. It's like an yeah. open space. Yeah, yeah. It sound like a real yoga stretching area, badass like gym. Mm-hmm. I may be wrong, but like, I think I think Alpha Land's gonna be around there for, forever, right? But like, do you think anyone else would buy Alpha Land if would, you needed to sell it? Uh, well, nobody bought it it's for five so, years. That's why I yeah, got but, a good but, deal. But now what you've done to it. Oh, yeah, they would. Oh, absolutely. Before it was scary looking. Yeah. <laughs> who would be the ideal of, customer to buy Alpha Land? Uh, anyone who wants to keep a gym. Do you mean to take over a new business or like? If to, you were just like, I want to. I want to close the gym down. I want to. I, I need to. Uh, let, let's say if it goes bad, I need to well, s- sell. Like, it would have to be like an oil. So it was a. These, uh, the company that was there before it w- that but he'd drill in the ground with all those big trucks, like, it'd have to be something fucking, I don't know. Yeah, but it's in, in the way I don't that think, you I don't it think out, I would like, ever sell it. No, I, I would yeah. never, it, but yeah, it's wild. But I think you could have a, a few different options in there because the warehouse looks so nice now. Uh, j- I mean, just like the Sour Strips distribution, you could definitely sell to someone that would want to do I've never that thought about so much space. I've never even put my brain there, bro. Like, Has anyone ever been like, like for example, like my house, that I put a bunch of money into renovate, right? Like I've I've already probably broken the 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 threshold of like I've never even thought about oh wow I could sell Alpha Land for like 17, 18 million. Well, well it, if yeah. someone yeah, that's right, right? But, it's okay, like, oh, so, it's worth, so, I'd rather have it worth that well, than even try to. Well, the analogy is like okay, like my house for example. Like I put a lot of money into this house, and like I've already probably broken the threshold of like you're not going to ever mm-hmm. get what you put in there out of it, right? So. There's still more I want to do to it, but I'm like saving for the new house, even though I really, even though I'm gonna be in this house for the next two years, I'm like, why don't I just do it? But I'm never gonna get that money back. Like, has anyone ever, and you might not not care and you plan it to just be in there forever, which is the goal, I think. But like, has anyone ever said to you like, hey, Christian, you probably shouldn't put more money into this building because like, you're never gonna get this back or you just No, I've had no one give me any advice. <laughs> so I'm just I think you're doing okay, yeah. bro. I mean, just yeah. continually. With the Grounds app, which is the newest business, which apparently is killing it, I think killing it. When I hear about people starting digital stuff, Kill, it's like I'm always like, oh, <laughs> trust me, like trust me. I'm always like, oh god, more dig, more another fucking app. But it's right? phenomenal. But it is phenomenal. She murdered it, bro. She murdered it. The business is murdering it. The and content's it, and it, different. Is it killing and, it? Thanks, babe. Yeah. It's doing really killing well. It. Yeah, killing it. What, so why did you, why did you want to get into a digital? app like this and why did you wait until like very late into your fitness career because yeah I did I mean I'll I'm gonna just be honest right like we could have like you could have launched it at like the beginning they're like the peak of like popular social media popularity but like yes. why so deep into the social <laughs> would have been smart yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well no 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 I mean I was still smart so what I did was I knew you know Buff Money Collection was growing so fast and I didn't want to take on more than I could chew so I was like, I'm just gonna let Buff Bunny Collection get to a point to where I build out the team. They need me less. I can take a baby step back. That's when I can do grounds. So that's what I did. And it's funny because I was actually showing him a text the other day. I got offered like thirty thousand dollar a month with 
some big fitness app and they were like, hey, like we can pay you this amount um, per month. We want you to join our app. And in my head, this was back in 2016. I was like, oh, shit. when I was like, no, I was like, because whenever I do, you know, a workout app, whenever that happens, I want it to be my own. So I said no. And I waited till Buff Bunny Collection was to a point where I could take a step back. And that's when I did it. And and really, like, the years weren't really wasted because I would really ask girls. I could be, like, in an Uber, on an airplane, like, just wherever. I'd be like, oh, like, how many apps do you have on your phone? And or, like, what what helps you stay accountable? Just, like, asking them questions. And, and on average, girls had five different apps that they would use for fitness. And I was like, man, that's a lot. I was like, how come no one's done all of it? They usually just did workouts or they would do workouts and recipes. I was like, man, imagine an app that had workouts, nutrition, water calculator, macro calculator, scan your food, it's journal. Like, it's my fitness pal. Community. Like my, my thing was the my fitness pal part. So I was like, yeah, if this really app can have the my fitness, can have something actually like my fitness pal, actually, yeah, then yeah. do you have something here? Because I love my fitness pal. Yeah. <laughs> and I pay like, my fitness pal is $20 a month. No, right? to it's scan like 70 food. Like to have, well, have the premium. Yeah, damn, like, Under Armour bought it and made, yeah, it, made fucking it charge. Yeah, the price up, bro. Yeah. Fucking. But my thing was like, if it, it, I've always been like, an app has, you really have to justify an app. Like yeah. in order for, and mm -hmm. grounds is justified, approved, yes. like worth it. So it's like you, it, the value is there. So it's like wild. Cause there's no other, oh, and period tracker. How could I forget? Yeah. So there's no <laughs> other women's fitness app that has all of that. I searched and I looked and I tried to find it. And I was like, how come no one's done that? That would save girls a lot of money and time. And it's organized. And just one, one stop shop. One stop shop. What have you, what, uh, what have you learned since besides that it's amazing? What have you learned since starting a digital product service and comparing it to a physical goods service like Buff Bunny and doing that for so long? And obviously, yeah, it's, you know, substantially less overhead. And, you know, it's just kind of like it, it almost makes money while you sleep and it's like reoccurring. Right. So it's like all those benefits. But like what has been the biggest thing you've learned? <laughs> yeah. It's what? Crazy. It's such a good business. Oh, oh yeah, bro. bro David, uh, David from how to be. Yeah, it's like ha so smart. A, a fitness app and it's great. Uh, it's like the Beastly app or something. It's essentially similar, but for guys, right? Yeah. It's kind of like an all one stop shop. And he just, I mean, he shows me how much money he's making. I'm like, oh my God. Like, dude, I feel like y'all should make Heidi's, an app. Heidi's been trying I'm, to convince ain't you. Ain't nobody so want a max tuning bro. fitness app. But Max, I promise you. With I, it, well, I already missed my opportunity to make no, we, we, we haven't done Max, I'm telling you. You should do an app. Both of y'all together, maybe find like another guy or two. Bros, you know? Before hoes, app name. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll just be called before hoes. It's just before hoes, then the but weight. Imagine. No, bro, just do like two two buddies and a dumbbell on my icon, <laughs> and then before hoes. Before hoes. <laughs> there you go. Stop. But imagine a, a men's fitness app. It's yeah. not just workouts. Like that. that's the cool thing is you could put finance stuff on there, stuff that you think guys should know. A finance combined fitness you could make app. It like that a, like would mine be. would have to be like a Discordy kind of vibe, but yeah. just like have like, but it have, but I don't know what it would be. That's why like I have workouts it. are on there, but also put finance stuff like it work. counts your reps and it tells you what the uh, current Apple price is at. Yeah, <laughs> that is wild. Okay, so <laughs> having a, a digital product, um, like what 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 has the, been the biggest thing you've learned from owning like a physical and a digital? Um, I would say digital is a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> oh my God. Like, that's why I'm laughing. It, I, w I was like, I can't believe that I did. At least I did apparel first. That was so hard. That mm -hmm. is so hard because you have so much money tied up. There's so much overhead. You need space. Whereas Grounds has zero employees. There is no You just employees. have like a, a developer that like once a month you update things on or is that? No, so I have a team. I have, I guess an agency if you will we, we, and I, just, uh, I will a lot of her time like is in, in ground so like it's yeah it's not like it's, it's just a baby uh, business yeah, yeah it's, it's like it's my baby still um she's only six months old I think so she's she's young she's in diapers still so it does require a lot of time to to get the lift off yeah if you will. I'm not doubting the like effort that yeah. goes into it but like I'm sure it's like a night it's and day difference a night and day difference I'm like man like this is great and they know that and my two, um, so like I'm the sole owner, but I have two business partners, if you will, that have profit sharing and they've helped tremendously. Like I wouldn't be able to do it without. And, and honestly, that's why it's almost seren serendipitous, if you will. If I would have done it way back in the day, I wouldn't have found mm -hmm. Jeff and James who are like my, my two go-tos. I don't like, I, th I think I would have done really well back then if I would have done it, but I don't think it would be where it's at today without 
them coming yeah. on because yeah. one of them is CEO of another very successful app. And then they're both the other guy, beasts. they're beasts. Beast. Like I've never. They're good. Like they're jacked. <laughs> sure. Brain jacked. I mean, actually, James yeah, does jacked. Olympic lifting. Mm -hmm. And then Jeff does bodybuilding yeah, workouts. Shape. Yeah. Like they're both actually in bigger than shape. you. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's no. bigger than me, dude. That's why no one wants the max app. <laughs> um, but they help so much. So Jeff is CEO of a very successful app. And then James is 50% owner of another app. So I was like, how about we all partner together since you guys know where all the landmines are and we could build something crazy. Yeah. And so that's what we did. Damn. Yeah. I mean, that's how your experience of like just going into a whole different field and then being like, Oh my gosh, like this is crazy comparison to what it is. That's how I feel. Um, so I, I, I shut down never forward, you know, and I liquidated everything. Um, and so I could just focus strictly on sour strips cause I was getting distracted from it. And just yeah. what I've learned of going into the, mm -hmm. the, the like consumable world of like, yeah, you have different flavors, but your skews are very, narrow, right? I just have like one product at the moment and multiple flavors of it. And then we're going to slowly start branching out. But whether it be a digital app or something that people can like buy and consume daily, maybe, or yeah. even weekly, it's just it, everything, every business has its like struggles and difficulties, but the, I will take the struggles and difficulties of sour strips every day Bro, over, over clothing. I can't oh really my. think of any pros to clothing, to be honest. Christian, like, I can't. Taylor and I were sitting in the parking lot waiting for Joe, like usual, to come to the gym. And I see, you know, your, uh, your employees are always like wheeling over like giant racks of clothing to the, to the hotel. And I tell Taylor like probably once a week that I go, I am so relieved that I'm not in clothing anymore. I, I'm so Yeah, but you want to know some of my motivation to now like – just make the clothing fucking even better is that I, I know how hard it is. And I know that like, if I were to stop, I truly feel like I would not have the clothes I want for myself. Yeah. And so like, <laughs> that's like my, I know I can also, I have it in me to make the business fucking really efficient. And I know I can make it really bigger, way better than it's ever been. So like, I know I could with what I know now of the clothing, I feel like now in three to five years, it can be a low stress for me but actually, like you know, be good. But yeah. I've never thought of that. Yeah, if we didn't have our brands, what would we wear? No, I know that's why I started Alphalete. That's like literally Kurt, when I tell you, and I this can be the sponsor. You ever, video. Yeah, J Crew. <laughs> or no, I actually bought some J Crew. No, the, these sour strip shirts. Okay, we sell a pathetic amount of sour strip shirts. Like they just don't move. Like I've done all the promos. I've tr I've made them cool. I have so many options, whatever, and they just don't move that. They don't. They don't move that much. Just period. People don't want to wear candy brand stuff, right? But the, literally, I, the other day, um, our warehouse manager was talking to Nick, the head of operations, was like, hey, because we got a new shipment in, like four four new shirts. And we have a bunch of shirts still in there. And he's like, hey, like, why does like why does Max keep, like, buying these shirts? Like, we don't, <laughs> like, there are a lot, we have a lot. Like, why are they still, like, why does he keep ordering new shirts? And Nick was like. Bad habit. <laughs> well, no, Nick, Nick goes, he goes, he just likes to, he, he buys them so he can have new shirts to wear. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I Bro, like wearing Saint, sour shirt shirts. every alpha <laughs> launch for men. I'm like, all right, <laughs> low key, what do I need? Yeah. yeah what do I want? <laughs> yeah. And in the closet. <laughs> just design mm -hmm. it. I, I feel like a free agent now. Like, obviously, like, uh, well, kind we'll, of like. Well, will take you. We'll take you. Well. Well, not even the sponsorship Wait, thing. Yes, Don't perfect. ever fucking work with anybody else. Or I'll fucking yeah. kill you. I, no, I'm more talking about like uh, wearing athletic wear and athleisure wear. Obviously, it's like my circle of people like all the time. But even like yesterday, like I was like, oh, I need some like chinos and some other things. I was like, I, I haven't like bought clothes, and I was like, it's I can wild, go get J. Bro. Crew. I can get some Express. You banana feel Republic. like a free man, huh? Oh, I was like, I could, because before it was yeah. always like, I want to wear either my friends' brands or like I want to. I need to wear Ever Forward. Like I need to wear yeah. this stuff. Yeah. But now I can, I can wear anything I want. Bro, that's how I feel when I'm when I'm doing like when I'm buying things for research and development, and I'm just like buying from anywhere. I'm just like, this is weird, bro. Uh huh. It's weird, <laughs> weird feeling. Yeah, weird. It's a, it's exciting times. That's so not relatable, but it's weird. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's so weird when I, I'm not wearing my own clothing brand or some like a sample that I've made or something. Yeah, I like, think you just like love your clothes so much that. Well, it's like if, now, even now if I don't love thinking, them, like, like I gotta keep making them so I love them. You know. Yeah. I'm always looking for the. Th I'm always looking for a problem in my day, or something, so I can just like, you know, huh? So I can make a business or like, with with a, a piece of clothing if I 
I just try to find something wrong with whatever I'm wearing, and then I try to make a better one, even if it's my own stuff. Because it's like, then I can just yeah. keep doing that. I still can't wrap my head around how you guys just keep coming up with, like, better versions of clothing, just, like, every... Well, then you get good designers, and then it's a lot easier to come up with. I was watching... Stuff. You know, I, I keep up with your vlogs. I was watching the one you posted of, the mm -hmm. like, a day off in the life, right? And, you, you know, which I've always joked about how you... You know, you plan out years and years and years, but like, we just actually listen, do. <laughs> listen to like the uh, the women's like item designer or whatever, and was saying like, all right, like here's the the birthday sale for next year, and in my head I'm like, Bro, that's know, crazy. Yeah. You're thinking like a year and ahead of like, how do you even know what people are gonna want? I'm, I'm I've already like I had to decide exactly like. Every, yeah, it's wild. Right? We, I decided all the ten year birthday sale details every single day. Main all this like concept, everything, and it's like set in stone. All the dates for this year are set in like it's, it's wild. I was not. It was. It's never. I've never had a birthday sale just happen. And then, like the time I've taken off from thinking about the next birthday sale has been like ten months. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like this is the first time in my life that we're like. A year. It's well, crazy. I'm excited. I, I'm just, I'm stoked that everyone's doing well. Like, I, I really am. And I, I think this pod was, like, super cool to kind of. This is like the send-off pod, bro. It is a send Like, y'all be married mofos. It's nine cool. days. Nine wow. days. We're crazy. in the best phase of our life right now, guys. How cool is that? Yeah. I know. We're thriving. We're thriving. Heidi, Heidi and thriving. Heidi, what, uh, I want to ask you on the, on the final question here. Where do you see... What do you see, like, how do you envision your life being in five years from now? Uh, let's see, five years from now. Because it's not going to be the same it's right not, now. It's no. not, no. I would say we'll live on our land with at least hopefully three acres. Honestly, ideally like seven. You'll be, yeah. you'll be planting tomatoes. I will have my, <laughs> no, not tomatoes. Those are too much work. I want <laughs> apple trees, avocado trees, because avocados are expensive. If you can yeah. pick them yourself, that'd be even better. Um, two kids. Possibly three, uh, a husky or two, and you know, working like once a week. I think working, checking in, yeah. checking in with the team. That'd be great. Do you think you'll have? Any I'll do whatever I need to do to be sure that's your schedule. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah like. Do you think in five years from now, either one of you will have another complete new business? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, well, no, no. So actually, I've been, I've been approached with a few things. Remember, I've, I've yeah. kind of told you a few, a few of them. I've been approached by a handful of things that actually you would really like. I, I can't say it's too early. Heidi, if you launch a candy company, I'm gonna. No, 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 no. But it's something. <laughs> it's something I feel like you would get involved with. For actually, you would definitely be. We need to very interested. We need in to this. Avengers this and unite. I know I, I'm ready for our Avengers moment. And I'm gonna yeah. say it needs to be a consumable I, I, thing. Bro, I already it, am. It can <laughs> be. It can be. It uh -oh. can be. Christians, Christians got some. Christians, ideas. Christianing. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I don't really want to start Not a soon. whole new business on my own. I will say that. Yeah. There you go. yeah. I was like, wait, where are we going? I was like, no, no, because <laughs> like Buffalo Collection and Grounds. Never on my own again. Oh I'm, yeah, no. no I love where they're at. And like he's building out his teams, they've been crushing it. So, but then I get kind of bored eventually. So I know I'm gonna start something. I mean, I feel like I'll never get bored because I love designing clothes. Like no, I, I, I can't imagine not having clothes. I can like, tell, like when I talk I to you about it. your business, like I can tell you're like very. You can tell people are passionate about what they do, and it shines through. <laughs> what do you feel with me <laughs> <laughs> with the business? Leggings and butt cheeks, dude. Yeah. Leggings and butt cheeks. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's. Y'all might be like the only, I'm trying to think of like, are there any other couples that both have like very, like independent, both very successful clothing brands that are a We're couple? We're marrying our competition. I don't, like <laughs> people probably work in the same business Yeah, people together. are like, people are literally like, how do you feel about your like, you know, competition? Oh, do you, you've gotten that shit all the time. Oh, yeah, since we've been dating. Like, yeah. yeah, we get that it's all the still, time. It's still, it's working. Like I was, I was on a podcast. I remember the girl was like, "Oh, is it is it weird? Like when you know you have girlfriends that have similar businesses, or do you ever get competitive?" I was like, "I literally married my competition." Yeah, <laughs> y'all might be like, so, a, "Yeah, I can't. I don't. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anyone else that has. I don't. I mean, no, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, we don't think of each other as like competition. Like we no. help each other. Sorry, so I'm gonna ask this one more time before the podcast ends. Who makes the better legging? <laughs> <laughs> and that will wrap up 
this send off. How about y'all comment below? Let us know. <laughs> comment below. Let us know. BB comes because, through. Because here's the thing, you know, it, you see our first answer was like we both each gave compliments to each other. This one, <laughs> like, both, both Christian and Heidi are like, oh my god, check out the new leg, and you're like, oh, that's cool. my, my new one's fucking better. Than yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we critique each other. Like he's like, oh, you're gonna launch that. Whenever like, you no, know, whenever you whenever you wear something that I really like. He'd, like, he'll tell me, he'll be like, that yeah. is going to sell. Oh, then, then sometimes he'll be like, you're going to launch it like that? Have any of you ever? No, I'll tell her. I'll be like, you but can't But I say the same that. thing. I'm like, mm, yeah. I feel like yeah. the next yeah. time you like launch these, if you took them like a half inch, like we help each other that sense. Have you, have you I'll ever? I'll literally be like, don't launch it. I, yeah. I don't, I don't want to go down this wormhole, but have either one of you ever, not an argument or a tiff, but if any, any one of you gone like, that's copying what we did on that collection or like, no, you can't do that. I'm about like, I'm going to do that. Or we, we had a moment where it was like, this was when Amplify had just come out and where Heidi, I, I, I don't know if you, you, into, you purposely would, like, kind of feel like, let me have my moment with seamless. And like, you really like worked on, started mm -hmm. working on seamless. You let me have my moment, which I really appreciated. Yeah. I really backed off of seamless for a while. Cause he was like, just absolutely dominating it. So I really just did cut. I still do seamless. Seamless is like a different type of legging than a cut and sew. Cut and yeah. sew is like when you have seams, seamless has no seams. So it's like a different type of legging. Why, yeah. why does it, I'm, I know, okay. This is the last question about clothing just cause, <laughs> but she's wearing a seamless legging now. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. When I, I never had success with women's clothing at never forward. Like I really tried, people didn't want it. And when we first launched them, you know, we did like the pockets, right? And everyone loved the pockets. And then when I would come out with new designs and stuff that didn't have pockets for whatever reason, the seam, I'd always get the question like, why don't they have pockets? And I'm always thinking, I'm like, like, like y'all continue to come out with leggings that don't have pockets. Are you just like the design is better without it? Because you would think, wouldn't everyone just want a pocket on their leggings? Times have changed. The times change every like all the time, though. It's like now people are wearing yeah. Apple Vision Pros. They don't need yeah. pockets. No dude wants to come up. Oh, hi, dude. Can you come up? Yeah. Come on. Okay. Right yeah. Here. Um, <laughs> so we actually still do leggings with pockets. Our, our our contour pocket legging that recently came out has absolutely smashed it. Which is at buffbunnycollection.com? Yeah, at buffbunnycollection.com. <laughs> um, we still do pocket leggings. However, because you're adding two layers of fabric, technically there's three layers right there, it can compress the side of your hip. And sometimes girls, it's like some people put filler in their hips to make them look wider. So some girls don't want three mm, layers shit. of fabric to compress. I always had an idea hips. and I almost spit it out and I'm saving that one. Okay. <laughs> so it's it's kind of like I understand some girls not wanting that compression on the side of their hip area. Ooh. Whereas some girls are like, I don't give a shit. Give me the pockets. You know, I wear both. I'm, I'm like, whatever. Spoken. At the end of the day, girls just want leggings that make their butt look great and bras that make their boobs look great, but is still comfortable and functional and yeah. holds them in. There yeah. you go. Girls just want to have fun. Yeah. Spoken from a true passionate business owner. I want to say thanks for coming on the Potter. Both of these beautiful people's uh, socials and businesses will be linked down in the description. So if you've never heard of them, first of all, get out from under a rock. Second, go check out their stuff. Support them. I'm excited to see you in a week in the mm -hmm. Cayman Islands. Uh, that will wrap up this episode of Don't Be Sour. If you're on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're on any sort of podcast streaming service, give us a five-star review. Don't know what it does, but I think it helps. New episodes every Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, unless I don't upload one. And uh, <laughs> I love thank when you, you say that part. Thank you so much <laughs> like, for tuning in. Yeah. Eat more sour strips and let's get we'll married. Tune you in later. Ever is forward. Ever forward. <laughs> what do you think about that? Me and Taylor have thought of this random thing of like of a, a new catchphrase that we, when I end a video, I always say that. But what if me and Taylor in the video, when I say, all right, tune dogs out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> dude, I, dude is like, I feel like you should, you'll no. scare some people doing that. You should definitely do that. You can do different barks every single time. <laughs> I'll do it with you right now. <laughs> and we'll end it. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I can't. Never, never do I that don't again. claim him. I don't claim him. <laughs>